Hello and welcome to my channel. My name's Lyndon and thank you so much for coming. It's uh, such a pleasure to have you here. And uh, I want to think about and talk about whether you have to be able to read music in order to play the saxophone or enjoy playing um, jazz or just enjoy music. Do you really need to be able to read music? And it's such a difficult question because I, I think there's so many variables on, on this question um, and I can tell you about my own biases and I can tell you a little bit about my experience in the musical world and some of my thoughts but I think ultimately what I would say is that if you can read music it's not going to hurt you it's going to be a benefit to you but I don't in all honesty, if you want my bias and take on this, I don't think it's absolutely essential. So let, let's kind of work through this because, you know, a lot of musicians have very, very, very strong opinions about this for good reason. So I think in the past, if you've gone for an initial saxophone lesson, especially sort of 20, 30 years ago, they would have absolutely, the first thing that they would have done is to put some written music in front of you, given you a saxophone, and try to get you to play something really basic like Bar Bar Black Sheep or a nursery rhyme of some sort, uh, or maybe a scale, and they would have done that with, with manuscript in front of you. And in my opinion, um, this is really trying to give somebody two skills at the same time because you've got all of the skill of trying to figure out how to use a saxophone while trying to read music at the same time. I mean, that is a lot to take on board. And because of my own background and my own take on things, that's not the way personally that I teach. I, I teach at least the first, you know, good few lessons completely by ear because I think just learning how to play a saxophone by itself is enough to be getting on with. So th there has been a link between instruments and manuscript reading which seems to be inseparable in some musicians minds and I don't really take that stand. I don't think, I don't think they're mad, bad or sad for thinking like that but I don't think that way myself. Um, so my own experience is that I started playing the saxophone when I was 26 and I'm 28 now. So it's 27, no, I'm not, I'm, I'm 58 soon. So I've been playing for a really long time and I didn't have any formal musical training whatsoever. And so um, I, I learned everything by ear and I really enjoyed learning everything by ear. It did definitely have its limitations, but it made me have strong ears. So if I want to learn a melody, I'll just listen to it and then play it on my saxophone. Might take me more or less time depending on the complexity of the melody, but that is my approach. Now I'm not saying that is the right approach, that's just an approach that, that I happen to take. Whereas with my son, who I love with all my heart, clearly he's now an 18 year old man and when he started playing the piano when he was uh, six or seven, we sent him to go through the grade system and learn to read music, but he also had my encouragement and support and take on things which was learn everything by ear so he had a bit of both and because of that now he is a very well-rounded musician whereas my personal reading music skills are not terribly good and I'm not very comfortable with reading music. I do do it and I'm trying to move forward with it but I'm not terribly comfortable and there have been very few but there have been situations where that's kind of held me back a little bit. So it's a difficult one, it's really difficult. Um, I can tell you that there's loads of fantastic famous musicians who quite famously didn't read music. Now before I mention these names I've got to say I just found this on the internet and I have no personal experience and I can't verify this as absolute fact or anything but if you google Wes Montgomery who is one of the you know leading figures in jazz he was not really a reader nor was Louis Armstrong famous trumpet player also considered an icon of the jazz movement uh, you know really really important. They say that uh, my research also said that Chet Baker, famous trumpet player, Django Reinhardt, one of the most fabulous guitarists ever, even Theolonius Monk, and they also mentioned that uh, Charlie Parker, Stan Getz and Dexter Gordon w weren't formally trained in, in music. I strongly suspect that Parker, Coltrane and Getz absolutely did uh, read music, but they weren't formally trained, they didn't come from that school. 
So um, I think another way to think about whether you need to read music or not is to think what kind of environment you're going to be playing music in. So if you're going to be playing, uh, assuming that you're a saxophonist, if you're going to be playing saxophone in a big band, you're going to need to be able to read music. I mean, there's just no way around it at all, in my opinion. Um, I suppose you could learn that by ear, but it would be a mammoth task and you really need to be able to read music. If you're going to play in an orchestra of any kind on any instrument, you need to be able to read music. I mean, there's, I can't possibly see a way around that. Having said that, there is a really famous English violin player, uh, just in case you didn't know what a violin is, uh, but there's a really famous English violin player called Nigel Kennedy, and he is classically trained. I think he absolutely does read music, but when you see him perform, he doesn't have any music in front of him. He's playing Vivaldi uh, by, by ear. He must be playing it by ear because he's not reading it, so he's memorized it. So I just think it's such a difficult question. Um, on balance, if it was somebody that I really cared about, like my students or you or, or another saxophone player, I, I wouldn't say, nah, don't bother to read music. There's no benefit in that. I I totally wouldn't for my son go and read music read music to the best of the best of your ability I think it can only possibly help you do you absolutely have to be able to read music in order to enjoy it or be fantastic well clearly not you don't you can learn things by ear and I think as a saxophonist it's absolutely uh, super important to be able to play melodies by ear and of course if you're going to improvise and play fantastic solos then that's got to come from an internal place you can't externalize that so you can't have those solos written down so you know I think there's a really strong argument on both sides again on balance I would say learn to read music it's really 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 good um, and uh, but you don't have to be able to do it actually my son said something marvellous to me, a, a phrase that he'd heard, which I think is absolutely fantastic, which is sheet music is for learning, not performing. So I think that's marvellous, especially if you're playing jazz, then I, I think that's that's spot on. You know, learn the melody from sheet music, whether it's letter names or or manuscript, that's absolutely fine. And then play uh, play it by ear. So you get the best of both worlds. Personally, I've also come across musicians in my uh, long life, uh, cl especially classical musicians, and uh, I had a friend of mine who's a fantastic orchestral uh, world-class bass player who also plays a bit of piano, and we would just had a new piano for my son delivered, and uh, he was here, and I said to this bass player, we've got a piano. I don't play any piano hardly at all. And I said, you play piano, don't you? And they said, yes, I do. Could you play something on the piano so we can hear how it sounds? And he looked at me kind of horrified and said, well, I can't play if I haven't got any music. And for me, that was, that. I felt, I felt terrible. You know, I felt, I felt bad for them that everything, that all of their ability is dependent on something external. Uh, and they, they literally couldn't play anything. I said, you must be able to play something. No, nothing at all. So on balance, learn to read music. I think it's a good thing. It's not completely essential, but knowledge is power. So if you can learn to read music, that's a good thing. Um, and at the same time, learn to play by ear, learn to improvise by ear and internalize it as much as you can, as, uh, as much as you can. So is reading music essential? Do we have to learn to read music in order to enjoy or play good saxophone? In my mind, no, but it's going to help. Uh, what are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments below because I know this is quite a contentious thing and like I've said, this is just my opinion. So let me know what you think and I'd just like to say some thank yous. All the people in the world who are I've had India and Reykjavik and Belgium and France and loads of people in America and Mexico. I am just absolutely blown away. I'm loving this whole YouTube experience. So thank you so much for tuning into my channel. Any feedback that you've got uh, on material that you'd like to see, please let me know. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful day. Take care, YouTube. Bye.